Uh, Leonard, uh, this looks nice. Curious on how where the machine learning lifecycle would fit in this ML model monitoring, tracking, retaining tools such as ML flow. Uh, is this part of CI CD, not even part of engineering? Um, generally, how I think um, what a lot of people do and how this how how this fits a lot into this um, is actually with Docker. Uh, people people tend to um, overthink this and, and look into big tools and working with these tools. Um, but ch a lot of stuff you can do with simple, um, as I said, as I've shown before, with simple GitLab or Git, uh, Git repository type and Jenkins to build it and then ship it and, and uh, use your code to actually train models or apply these models. Um, I have in the academy, I have in the pipeline building, I have a few examples of how would that look? How could you build a, a uh, analytics pipeline? Um, but these tools, usually MLflow, uh, like the, these things are more related for the actual scientist. The engineer has less to do with these tools. Um, it's more of, a, of, a, of something for the for the scientist, but nevertheless, at some, as you know, I think it's a, it's a good way of like, um, it's an important part, uh, machine learning, how, how to automate this basically. But for me is always like, when I, when I do the, when I think about engineering, I, I try to shy away from the actual machine learning part because I have a lot of data scientists in the in the courses or I have data scientists in the coaching. And I like if you if if you know a hammer, uh, everything looks like a, a nail. So or if you only have a hammer, everything looks like a nail, right? So I don't want to I don't want to have people actually just thinking about the science part. I want to have them more also thinking about the engineering part. So that's why I why I usually uh, don't focus on the actual machine learning. This is, it's very simple to actually do this, as I said, with, with containers. And yeah, so maybe in the future, I, I have planned to do a machine learning for data engineers course. Never came around to do it, um, but I think it would also be an interesting part. <laughs> 